This video is presented to you by www.testpreparder.com. Testpreparder.com provides free audio visual lectures of different subjects by expert faculties, free online tests prepared by expert faculties to students who are preparing for engineering or medical entrance exams or planning to take exams like KVPY, Olympiad, etc. It provides a platform where students can interact with mentors to improve their performance in the exams. The mission of this online medium is to help students to achieve their goals. To understand subset, I'll take two sets P and Q. Now here you can see set P is what? Set of Indians. Set Q is what? Set of all Maharashtrians. As we know, Maharashtra is one state in India. Maharashtra is one state in India. So, every person living in Maharashtra will by default fall in India. So, all elements of this set Q, all elements of the set Q belong to set P. But, all elements of set P do not fall into set Q because people are living in Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, etc. They are also Indians but they are not Maharashtrians. So set Q is called a subset of P. A set, set Q is called as subset of P. And it is represented with the symbol this. So here I can write Q as Q is the subset of P. This symbol stands for is subset of. So we read this as Q is a subset of P or you can also say is contained in. So you can say Q is contained in P. Got the idea? Now how to define it properly? Mathematically how to define a subset? Definition, uh, a set Q is said to be a subset of set P if every element of set Q is also present in set P or element of set P. For our convenience, we write this mathematical definition. We are aware of the symbols. This, uh, this is used uh, to represent subset. And we are aware of this epsilon. Uh, it indicates uh, belongs to or element of uh, this symbol. This symbol means implies. So how do we read this mathematical definition of subset? We read this as Q is a subset of P. Q is a subset of P if A, which is an element of Q, A belongs to Q, implies A belongs to P, means A is also an element of P. So, Q will be a subset of P if A belongs to Q implies A belongs to P. This way we define subset mathematically. 
now if a set is not the subset of another set if a set is not the subset of another set for example b is not the subset of a so i will write this b and a relation as this b is not a subset of a now we had already discussed phi empty set in the previous session dear students please note phi is empty set has no element so phi is subset of every set phi is subset of every set got the idea now if q is subset of p if q is subset of p means every element of this q is in set p right but every element of p every element of p may or may not in set q but if every element if every element of p is also in set q means p will also be a subset of q or we may say p equal to q so mathematically we can define equal sets as in this mathematical definition you can see another special symbol this symbol stands for if and only if in short we write this as iff okay now how do we read this q is a subset of p and p is a subset of q if and only if p is equal to q got the idea q is the subset of p and p is the subset of q if and only if p is equal to q and please note if you say q is the subset of p and q is not equal to p then then q is called a proper subset of p a proper subset of p and this p is called superset superset of q got the idea now consider a set p as consider a set p as a e i o u set of vowels and set q as a e i set s as a now you can see s is the subset of q q is the subset of p and set s contains only one element set s contains only one element it is also called singleton set singleton set and dear students please note that phi phi is having no element so phi will be the subset of every set got the idea so in this session we talked about subset we talked about the definition of 
equality of sets in terms of subsets we talked about proper subset we talked about superset now in the next session we will talk about the subsets of real numbers log on to www.testprepadda.com to watch free video lectures on different topics to download free revision notes to take free chapter wise online test progressive test and mock test to discuss doubts with mentors thank you for watching the video to stay up to date with the latest videos subscribe to our youtube channel like us on our facebook page test prep adda all the best